at one of the markets and we're looking at women who are doing the actual weaving for some of the goods that they sell here. Um, one thing that you need to know is that this is all hand done. This woman is doing everything by hand. What uh, Most of the time their threads are all cotton and she is using what's called a back strap weaving loom, um, which means that she's got a belt around here and she's making it tight, so she's adding tension to the weaving while she's doing it. And without that, there's no way she could do the weaving. I've been told that the threads that run this way, there are sometimes over 300 of them. And uh, depending on what pattern she's using, it, you know, how intricate it is, and what it, this is really fine work that she's doing right here. Okay? And if you look at her shirt, her with heel, this is indicative of where she lives. Each pattern on, on the different weavings is different for the different pueblos, the different villages. Is it something that many people can distinguish? Oh yeah. Um, I'm not sure where this one is from. Senora, ¿dónde vives? De San Antonio, Aguascalientes. San Antonio y Las Calientes. Aguascalientes. So this is the type of weaving that they do there. That shows where she lives. So probably every now and then, every whatever. And she's just starting this one. So, so not, it's it's yeah. very hard to learn this. Oh yeah. This is yeah. This is not a beginner's project. You know the weaving, yeah. But um, normally when you're just starting, you don't have all these different spacers. If you're doing something really simple, I think you, I think I remember I had one, maybe two, and that was it. Not all these, and that's how they get the reversible stuff. Mm. I, I don't think most men would have the patience to do no. this. I haven't. You know what? I don't think I've come across anything where men spend, you know, days and days and days making one thing. They're no. they're great at woodworking. There's okay. some amazing carvers and all that, but I've never come across where they spend, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks doing one thing. They, they just don't have they, the... They just, it's not what they do. No. They have other skills. They've got great skills but um, for a lot of other things, but not this. Yeah. Not that crafty stuff. What would yeah. you think of as crafty? So, so it's definitely a dying art. It is. Yeah. Very much so. Very much so. Between... Um, a lot of things becoming machine done. Yeah. Um, designs are being stolen and taken taken overseas, and they're reproducing the same designs overseas and saying that they're Guatemalan and all that kind of stuff, and they're not. Mm. Um, and then the young girls don't want to learn how to do it. They don't want to sit still. No, there. I don't blame them. They can sit on their phone for hours and hours and hours at a time, but not do no, this. No, you can't. You can't talk on the phone. Well, you can't text on the phone and do this at the same time. You can't time. text. You could talk. You could watch a video. You yeah. could listen to something. You could, but these ladies don't. I've never seen one do that. I've never seen them try to... Well, first of all, you can't. Because once she gets this started, she has to literally count how many threads and flip things and put a color in and count how many threads. Yeah. And you can't... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Literally counting like one, two, three, four, five change the color one two three four five change the color so and you can't be listening to so even like with all this background noise is distracting her or they just block it out okay because she's been doing this for many years so let's find out when she started senora cuando años tienes cuando tu empecé este proceso ocho años so she's saying she started when she was eight wow that's doing the the more simplified designs mm. so for her, she's been doing it that long. Yeah. Since so she was she eight, can. And, I don't know. So like forty years, maybe. She could multitask if she wanted to, but like kind of, sort of. But that's not that's not culture. That's not okay. their culture. Okay. They don't, I mean, she wouldn't. In she fact, won't watch a movie. Right. No. In fact, these two ladies working side by side like this, they're not chatting back and forth. Okay. That I've never seen that happen either. Right. Doesn't mean it doesn't. They would have to have Netflix and everything yep. else. And, you know, they probably don't live in the same house, so she may be working on this at home, too. Okay. Not just here. She might. Um, the other thing about these these looms, when she's done, she just rolls this all up. She just rolls it all up, takes it all down, and so it's very portable. 
Oh, okay. Just takes it with her, or puts it, you know, wherever they store things here. Yeah. And then it's, the next time she rolls it all out, and then she has to make sure everything knows is like really lined up, or the design's not going to happen. Is not going to happen. And taking it out is not easy. No. You have to back do every. It's really not easy at all. So when, when they sit down and do this, they're doing this for many hours before they take a break. Yes. Wow. Normally. And if it was home, like a regular day at home kind of thing, maybe she still has all the laundry to do, the cooking, the cleaning, you know, all those things that you would do at a house anyway. Yeah. And so she can stop it. If she had young children, she's, you know, doing whatever she needs to with them. Then she stops and then she can come back to this. Okay. And she fits it in however she fits it in. Okay. Great. Yeah. And these ladies are actually sitting on stools. Most of the time they're sitting on the ground. They're not, they're sitting on, you know, yeah. either, either chairs or stools or something. Many, many times at home, they're on the ground. Doing it's better to be on the ground. I don't know if it's better, but if you don't have a chair, you don't have a choice. Oh, okay. You know? They can't make a chair. They, it's, it's, yeah. Okay. It's... Yeah. This is definitely probably, I would assume that this is easier on the back. It can be more... Not straight. Yeah. When you're sitting down, and when yeah. you're sitting down, they're sitting on their knees. They bend their feet underneath them, and they're so they're sitting flat on the ground. On their and yeah. so it's really hard on their knees. And I also just saw her massaging her hands and doing things with her hands. This has got to be really hard for like people yeah. to Oh stuff. yeah. Yeah, because they're repetitive. So that that does take a toll on them. Could you talk about the? The wedding dresses? Dresses is that they're they're usually like floor length, so they're very long. Okay. And that's gonna take a lot more work. And the only ones I I guess I have seen them from every place else, but so generally they're not totally, totally, totally in design. Mm. Um it'll the design will go only so far. And then the rest of it is not the intricate designs, it's just the plain. I see. Thing. I'm sure they repurpose it them too, right? For handbags. Eventually they do. Yeah. You know, and here again, that's, in some ways, that's sad to see it happen, but yeah. it's an economic thing. Oh, yeah. It, it makes a lot of sense. And they have to do it. They'll yeah, because they. Those things for, the economic, for the reason that we need them. Yeah, they probably pass down the, the wedding dresses. Um, Senora, in tu cuadrito. Y es um, ropa especial para uh, cuando un, una niña que sabe. Así. Sí, es diferente de este. Es diferente. ¿Y cómo es diferente? Es um, con pájaros y flores y es blanco. Ok, she's saying it's with flowers and birds and it's white. Sí. Oh, es, okay. ¿Es largo? ¿Es, es muy largo? Es el mismo estilo. Es el okay. mismo estilo, pero es con flores y cosas blancas y Okay. okay. She's saying that in her village, um, it, it's still the same size, so it doesn't go all the way to the floor. But it's only birds and flowers, and it's white. So, I see. No, solamente, de co, solamente blanco or los de los colores. De, de colores, de, de colores, los flores y sí. pájaros. Sí. Okay. So. Okay, so the belt and the skirt are colored, and um, but and the sometimes the flowers and the birds have color in them too. But basically, it's like a white background. Okay. okay. So and they pa they color. pass down from generations. Es diferente. Es diferente cada todas mujeres. Cada todas mujeres es diferente. Sí. Todas las mujeres usan el blanco de boda. Oh, she's saying that all the women at the wedding, that's how they dress. All oh, of them, okay. not just the bride. See, wow. But they all dress with the white. So they keep it. So I have seen that one time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lots of colors. Lots of the colors. That's but, very fascinating. But white too. Yeah, it's really So they could be wearing their wedding gown to someone else's wedding. Yes, yes, yeah. pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Well, wow, that's fascinating. Just, you know, because think about it, all the time that it takes to make one. Yeah. Generally, because you don't have a lot to begin with, you're not gonna make it and wear it once. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be able to wear it, but that's the only time you're gonna wear it, is okay. to weddings. It's not something you'd wear out in the, to go shopping. No. <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Sí, sí. Tienes, tienes hijos? Tengo dos hijos, pero ya son grandes. 
son grandes. Sí. Viven aquí? No, en el pueblo. En el pueblo. Sí. She has two two children um, and they're grown. And oh. they live in the in the village. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. If we look at some of the other things like this piece right here, this piece is the work of women at the lake in a pueblo called Santiago. So Lake Atitla and Santiago, they do birds. They're the only place in the whole country that do all the bird stuff. I'm serious. And um, you, you can see that this is all hand done because of the threads on the back. When I look at this, I know that this is handmade. The, um, in the markets, you will see a lot of things now that are machine done. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference in the quality between the two, but this is all hand done. This one is, this one's hand done. This one's from a different area um, called show you a little bit more. You can see that the two are very, very different. And so this is from a different um, area of Guatemala. This is from Neva. Very, very different area. Um, this, this piece, actually this piece started out as a shirt and here's part of the neckline on the shirt. So this has been repurposed. Oh. It was probably originally worn as a shirt for a little while. And then for whatever reason, it was bought and turned into a table runner. Okay, so okay. the price on these, can run anywhere from 400, 500, 600, 700 quetzals, yeah. which um, about 750 quetzals is $100 US. Weaving or shirt is from the area of Guatemala that's very, very hot, which is Coban. So this is up closer to Mexico, that area, because it's more desert up there and the ladies need something that's not as heavy. Um, so this, is all, this stuff is all from Coban. If we look at these things, like this is machine, this is machine done. This is not their hand done textiles. Um, any of the beadwork, again, the beadwork comes from the lake. It comes, a lot of it comes from Santiago where the birds are. That's what they're noted for. So when you see the beadwork like that, all of these little hummingbirds and whatnot, they're from Santiago de, de Atini. And they sell these on the street for about five, six dollars each. Um, I talked with a family one time and they were explaining the intricacies of doing this. This is one day's worth of work. So if you think of one day's worth of work for five bucks wow. or six dollars, and incredible. that doesn't include their materials and everything, but each part is done individually. Each wing is created individually. Um, different sides of the bird, they're created individually and then they have to put it all together. I've seen kids as young as seven starting to learn how to do the tails on the on the uh, hummingbirds. Um, the other thing is that doing work like this for many, many years, your eyesight starts to kind of go. And if you don't have good eyes, then you can't do the work. And if you can't do the work, you don't have a way to have an income. Okay. Um, let's see. This piece right here, this one is machine done. You can look at the back. If it's like this on the back, that's machine made. That's not handmade. Okay. Okay, that's done on, on a, an embroidery sewing machine. So you don't deal with? I try not to deal with these. I try to deal only with the hand done stuff. Yes. Why is that? Because I really honor their work. I think that this is just incredible. Yeah. And you don't find this in, like this is all hand done. This one's hand done. This one could be hand done, but they're also doing a lot like this now that's machine. This one I think is hand done. But this is definitely hand done, and this is from Chichi Castanango, even though it's a bird. This was part of a shirt. Originally, this was a weepio, a part of a shirt. So, you like the fact that they repurposed a lot of the. Work? I do, I do, because, like I said, I really honor the um, work that they do. Uh huh. And then this one, you know, here again, they've taken the very best parts from the shirt. These were shirts, and they've used them on this bag. I find that the most of the workmanship here on the handbags, um, everything is really, really top quality. I mean, it's wow. just amazing what they what they do. Um, any of these little dresses? These are all these little dresses from the for the girls. These are all hand embroidered. The ladies get about maybe two or three dollars for doing this work. That's insane. Yeah, they work at home. Most of them work at home, and these were probably, uh, there are people who will, in a sense, commission people, who, you know, ladies who stay at home to do this work, and they'll say, we need, you know, three dozen of them or whatever it is they need, and we need them by this time, 
and then they provide all the materials and the ladies provide the labor. Mm. So, yeah. And those are the um, yeah, there's just all kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here again, some of this is machine done, this is machine done, machine done. These are all machine done and the, the cost difference. If it's machine done, you know, it's not gonna cost you as much to buy it. But I mean, the designs are nice, but it's not gonna cost as much to buy it just because they can crank them out a lot faster mm. than doing the hand stuff. The runners, um, let's see if we've got a really nice, like the one that we just saw, we saw with the birds on it. Yeah. That's about six to eight months worth of work. Incredible. That's how long it takes. Wow. And when they're doing the weaving, um, if they're doing the real intricate weaving, like the, the lady here, her shirt, Okay, this, this is going to take her months and months to do. And mm. sometimes they can only do about an inch a day because of the intricacies of the designs. And you will never find two that are the same, no matter what. They make uh. one and that's it. You might find similar designs, like you know this stripe here she might use that again in another piece but she will never do another one like this mm. so the runners one of a kind always one of a kind that's amazing it is Did, and that's one of that. the things that i just love about all of this is it's all unique you know you'll find some you know even this one you know this one is hand done yeah this one's hand done and you will find the birds like this this is kind of a standard design with the, the two Quetzals, mm -hmm. and that's their national bird. But this part will not always be the same. Mm. So it's very difficult, you know, when I when I sell things and stuff, I can't, people can't order 20 of these. No. Because I can't get them unless I commission someone to actually do them. So these are hand-done textiles, and they have a version that's a little bit smaller than this. It's about this big, mm -hmm. and they're perfect for earbuds and, you know, earphones and all that. I mean, they're perfect, and then you hook them onto your backpack so you mm -hmm. don't lose your earbuds because, you know, we all do that. Yeah. We lose all that stuff. They sell that at Nimpod, too. Yeah, they do. You can get smaller ones, but I had grandkids here one time, and they pulled out their little earbud case, and they were trying to see if it would fit, and I went, oh! That's a fabulous idea. So I got, yeah. I don't know, gazillions of them. How much again? Uh, I don't know. I brought probably, I don't know, 50 of them. And oh. I sell them then at the little markets that I do. And people love them. Wow. Yeah, it's really... But if you look at like this, you can see that these designs... Let, let's look at different colors. I mean, look at the difference in these. Totally, totally, totally different designs, different colors. So listing these on a website would be, you know, you have to list this one and this one and this one. You can't just say, you know, a zippered coin purse that's this size. Mm -hmm. So it's, Yes, it's yeah. way a lot of work for something that... It's different. It's a different way of having to do things. And then um, sometimes their goods are, this is not leather, this is an imitation leather. But um, there are some that are actual leather, and I have um, some that are leather. Um, different designs. I mean, look, just the difference in the designs. Yeah, it's very cool. Isn't it's it? Very, I mean, once you yeah. start looking at it, and these yeah. were shirts. These all started out as shirts, as whip heels, like whip heels. And then for whatever reason, um, they sold they sold them. Here's one that has like lots and lots of little pieces on it. So you've got samples of lots of different textures. So someone wore that as a whip heel for a while and, and to the point that... Whatever. I mean, it could be that normally the whip heels, I mean, they're only, the designs only go to about the waist. Yeah. And then from there down, it's plain because nobody's ever going to see it. Yeah. The way they dress is they always have their skirts and they always have a, um, a belt that just wraps. No buttons, no zippers, no Velcro, none of that. And they just wrap it, and so that part of the shirt, you'll never see. And it's called a corte? Yeah, the corte. Corte. Corte is the, is the skirt. And some of those are about 
they're usually between five and six yards long. Wow. And they just wrap them. They I wrap see. them around, wrap them around, wrap them around. Mm. And that way it fits anywhere. It doesn't matter what size you are. Oh, brilliant. You I know, like it. It's just a matter yeah. of how much you're going to wrap it. Yeah, if and it's anyone. The, yeah, and the um, faja, the belt, that's what this is. Okay, so look at how long this is. This is about, I don't know, how many yards? Let's see if I can get a general idea. This is at least, I would say this is two and a half to three yards long. This is one belt for one lady, hand done. And what they do, and I, I'm never good at it, but I'll give it a try. You start it like here, and then you just wrap it. So no matter what size you are, it's gonna fit. And then they just tuck it in. That's it. It's just tucked in. You can't really tell it's that long. No. And see, yeah. you know, a person of another size, they just wouldn't wrap it as many times. And the, the belts always go with the rest of the outfit somehow. Ah, uh, okay. So if you're getting, so with these two ladies, because of where they're from, their skirts kind of tell you where they're from and then their belts. So it's kind of interesting. And there's a knack to putting this on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't, you know, there really is. And see, they only really embroider or weave in the fancy weaving part of it. Because that's the only part you're going to see. Yeah. This part is all, the rest of the weaving, it's all woven. And it's all one piece. But you're never going to see this part. It just gets wrapped. Uh -huh. And you can buy these, obviously, here. How um, much are they? I don't know. Um, Senora, can you answer that's 400 Q. And 400 is about 55, about $55. Yeah, that's a good deal. ¿Cuánto tiempo te necesitas So she's saying that, that it takes about a month just to make this. This is a month's worth of work. And the That's reason insane. is because this is very, very detailed. Mm. Yeah, and it's done on a on a cinto. See, it's done on the same kind of loom, only they just didn't make it very wide. Okay, so what is she making right now? Um, Senora, ¿qué es este? Ese es centro, el centro de mesa. This is a table runner. Okay. okay. Yeah, we just saw that. And yeah. she'll go. Yeah, she'll go all the way. Wow. And they have others. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Este diseño? Okay. So this is the design that is the design and basically that it's going to end up as and that's how it starts. Mm. And cuánto tiempo necesita? So that's two months worth of work. Mm. Y el valor es 3,500. So she's saying that that's 3,500 for that one, which makes it, they're selling that one here for about $500. Wow, okay. Three months worth of Yeah, work. it's worth it. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Can, can we ask you, like, the tourists that come here to, to purchase, what what do they do? Did, do they take it with them back or they send it back? Or Oh, I think or, that most of the people that come, well, this, once you take that down and fold it up, it doesn't take much space. Okay. So that that particular size and one like that, you're talking about, you know, once it's all folded, it's not going to take up much more than this. No. So that's easy to put in a suitcase and take back. I see. Yeah, definitely. So if you think about, you know, um, $500 for two months worth of work. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth it. I would definitely pay for it. Yeah. If I wanted one, yeah. Yeah, if you really wanted it. Yeah. And they, you know, they do them in different colors, so you just have to find one that you just love, that you mm. just really like it, um, because there's no way to say, do you have it in blue? Do you have it in green? Do you have, because the answer's no. Uh -huh. It's like, no. Okay. She so doesn't like, do custom make. You know, they're using, like, this is the natural fabric. This is the fabric that they um, use for their skirts. That's an example of, you know, and, and they're all different. You make a, a little doll that's only about two or three inches tall. Oh. And they're called worry dolls. And the, the idea on a worry doll is that you tell the doll 
what your problem is, your troubles, you know, you kind of like you cry to the doll, your best friend, and you put it under your pillow, and when you wake up in the morning, you don't have that worry again. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's, yeah. yeah. I, and, I, would, I would like to get one of those. Yeah. That would be a great gift. Well, wait a minute. Here's, they do have some. Here, these are worry dolls. And they come in different sizes. These are a little bit larger than some. You can get it. Oh, here. Here's the tiny ones. They okay. make great souvenirs. Yeah, and, and these, gifts. these, this is a dozen right here. So you <laughs> can buy them by the dozen, or you can buy one at a time. Where they've done the lady, and then they've put a cat on it, or a, um, a dog, or whatever, for people who worry about their dogs and cats when they're gone, when they're mm. on vacation. Yeah. yeah. That's a really neat idea. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but I only <laughs> I saw them once. I haven't been able to find them again, which is sad. Yeah, see, so you can buy them, you know, okay. packets. I'm here's probably going to do that next time as a gift. Yeah, and they you make, could. You they could, make, you know, here's, yeah. and they put magnets on the backs of these. Mm. Um, one of the other things is um, Guatemala is known, known for its jade. I didn't and, know that. Yeah, they have um, jade museums here. You can go in oh. and find out the process, and they'll demonstrate the process of grinding the jade and you know doing all that stuff with it. Believe it or not, I, I you know I'm not an expert in any means on gems, but I do know that jade comes in many colors. It comes in green, which is what we always think of. Oh, there's also a black. There's a turquoise, right? more of a turquoisey color, and there's also one that is. Um, like lavender, a pink jade. Mm. So that's kind of interesting. Right? So people give them as gifts. Mm -hmm. For or, what reason? Um, whatever you know. Uh, people, you know, when you come, what, like any tourist anywhere, you think of the people that you want to take something back for, and it could be um, your kids, your daughter, your, you know, your granddaughter, your grandson, or it could be um, the person who's taking care of your dog. Okay. You know that you just feel like you want to take something back. Which which one of these would make work well for, as a romantic gift? A romantic gift? Ooh, that's a good a, a good question. Like a necklace would work or earring or. You know, a necklace. Yeah, absolutely. A necklace or or, an e or earrings, and there's so many styles. I mean, you you know all these these are earrings, these are all beaded oh. earrings, these are all earrings, and here again the styles are Guatemala. They're not copied from something else. This is what they've developed. Mm, I see. Okay, in fact, other places are coming here and taking their designs and, and taking them back to other countries and trying to duplicate them. You know, okay. and then make them cheaper and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, and these little, you know, I mean, just these little purses. You know, if you're looking for someone, a gift for someone, you know, a woman, um, just these little purses are fun. There's always chocolate and coffee. Yeah, chocolate yeah. Chocolate and coffee, yeah, man. They work, yeah. Almost everyone likes one or the other. So, so true, yes. Okay. Es posible poner un orden para este en colores yo quieres? Sí, se puede. Sí, sí, es posible. Yeah, there's thing. Yes, it is possible. So if I had something that I really wanted, like I only used certain colors in my house, yeah. And I want, and I have a special table that I need of this length and all that. It is possible to order these colors, whatever. Yeah, I want it this long and I want these colors. So you can do it. And not just here, but there are a lot of women that will do that for you. So remember, okay. it's going to take you a couple of months yeah. if you want something that specific. But they will do, do it. Do they have a website? or? What? I don't know. Um, tienes, tú tienes, um, so they only sell here at this specific location. Yeah. And that's all that they do. But there are other places, um, there are groups, sometimes there are groups of women, that's a, a big thing here, where the women get together and they, like they'll have a space, and you work on Tuesday, I work on Wednesday, somebody else works on Thursday, and we have all of our stuff here, mm. like, like a team, mm -hmm. they work as a team. That's very, pop very popular okay. here with the women. Okay. Okay. She said, 
can in, he can invite people to come here and then see what see their work and then order things. But yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, see. She's saying that there's not much business right now. This is their time. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So she's inviting people to, you know, come because this is their this is one of their slow seasons. Yeah. So the video we make for them will yeah. be on YouTube. Este es una cooperativa para la familia. Para la familia, para los hijos, sus sobrinos, las tías, las abuelas. Nosotros vendemos y tejemos. Pero el negocio muy bajo ahorita. Okay, she said this is a cooperative, basically an extended family kind of cooperative, mm. where they, they um, different members of their family make different things and they all bring it here. Okay. Okay, so this is, yeah. And then some of these goods, though, are not from. Um, Antigua or the area close to Antigua. Mm -hmm. So either they they have family in other parts, or they're buying from you know other people. Mm -hmm. But it's yeah. But this, this is machine. It's a beautiful piece, but it's machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. This yeah. this right here. They have to put this on the back so they can do the machine work. I see. Okay. But then this is this is hecho a mano by hand, handmade. Okay. And you can see all these threads that are kind of, they look loose. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can find it. This is the Yeah, this one's made by hand too. Terminó ella ayer. They finished yesterday. Yeah, and see their work is oh, wow. double-sided, which mm -hmm. makes it, this is the most intricate um, detailed work you can find. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it really yeah. truly is yeah. because it's reversible. And, it, and nobody else does that. Just wow. this one area. Yeah. So you've got that one. So that that's a Christmas theme? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's Christmas. So, so now would be a good time to purchase yes. that for Christmas. Yeah, this takes up this took her a month and a half. Yes. I can see that. It's beautiful. Yeah. And see what they have to do is with all those threads on there she literally counts how many threads before she puts the color in and then counts again so that's why yeah look at this yeah this is a whip peel this is this is the whole shirt this is the neckline and when she puts it on yeah let me just see get crazy here in okay so this is the whip peel Okay. Oh, okay. And that's it. It's open on the sides. That's very easy. And sometimes they will just do this and then put the belt on it. Oh. And that's what holds it closed. Yeah, very simple. And you can see that there's a piece that doesn't have anything on it because that's going to be under, that's going to be the skirt. So she'll show you. This is really cool. And this one goes with it. You can tell by the colors. See, see, no. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it in. Okay, that's the whole shirt. It, it's incredible. It Isn't looks. It, it looks so great, and Isn't it feels. It I bet it feels. It feels yeah. Yeah, and yes. then you know when I buy these, I go ahead and stitch the sides because that's me. Because I, it's not gonna work if I don't. Mm. You know, okay. and you can stitch it as much as you want. But one of the things, you know, about their work, see, it's it's reversible. This side, this is the underside. It looks just as nice as this side. Mm-hmm. It does. And that's very. That's not what you always find. No. It's this rare. is this is the most detailed work I've ever found in one. Wow. So it's definitely worth the price of whatever it is you're going to pay for. Yeah, and this is months worth of work. And look at the birds and flowers and mm -hmm. colors. And, yeah. Typically. Um, an average Mayan woman, how many outfits that would she own? Um, probably only, she would own a few because they do wear, if they're traditional, they still wear these all the time, okay. all the time. And what's happening here in Guatemala is 
this whole dress is slowly becoming less popular because of the cost. I, I bet. A lot of it has to do with the cost. Some of it has to do with, I want to be more modern. Yeah. I want to be more Americanized kind of thing. But a lot of it has to do with the cost because the whole outfit is going to cost over, oh my gosh, it's probably going to cost you close to two or three thousand Q. So it's maybe five hundred dollars for one. Outfit. Yeah, that's expensive. Okay, that's very expensive yeah. when you don't when you're only making five dollars a day. So imagine. Like, They'll have one, and they always okay. wear. Anytime they go out, they go to the markets. Anytime they're leaving home, they wear their best. Okay. They wear their best. And what's the best way to wash them? Any way you want. I don't put when I buy them. I don't these maybe, but mostly I don't put them in the in the washing machine. Huh? Wash them out by hand. But you can be as rough with them as you want because they're rough when they wash them. Yeah. They don't have one. Most of these ladies don't have washing machines and all that. No. So they have to wash them by hand and scrub them and you know all that. And they yeah. don't wash them every time they wear them, of course. This one, yeah, see this color wise and stuff, this one right with it. Wow. Pretty cool work. It's very cool, yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, that's the way I love it so much. I just appreciate all the work that they do. Yes. And you can see, you know, she's sitting here weaving more for two reasons. One, she's making another product that she's hoping to sell. And two, this is what they do. They don't just sit and they're not on their phones. And, you know, those are the what she does. Even the younger generation? The younger generation, not as much. I have found a couple of places where um, I've seen kids as young as about 12 learning how to do this, but not that intricate. Yeah. They start with something, you know, the um, more, uh, a simpler design. Yeah. But they will start, and sometimes the kids are doing that and they're not going to school. Oh my goodness. They will do that instead because going to school, I can't get any money today if I go to school. Mm -hmm. And future is, you know, doesn't really exist. Because right. I need to worry about now. How come the men, the men don't do it at all? They don't, not even close, but, not even the same way at all. Now the men, you know, they work very, very hard in the fields. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And their, their minimum wage, so to speak right now, is like $10 a day. Mm. So they'll go out six in the morning till six at night, you know, what is it, dawn to dust kind of thing, for maybe ten bucks. Wow. Yeah. It's a hard thing. It's a it, hard it is. It's it's pretty tough. So it's usually that in the in the mountains and stuff. And their farming um, in so many places is all done by hand. You can't oh. get machinery into the hills that are at a thirty degree slope. Or a forty almost forty five degree slope in a lot of places mm -hmm. when they're growing their corn and beans and peas and um, squash and all that kind of stuff. Mm. It's hard it's hard. They work really hard. Yeah, they do. They really do. They do. Um Yeah. Yeah. So you can see that yeah, she's wearing her best. Wow. That's what they do when they And of course the thing she wants to show her best you know, do you know anyone who actually does this in the United States? Oh gosh, no. I can't, I know people that weave. I do know people that weave, but they would never do anything this intricate. I don't no. think they know how. Okay. I mean, I really don't that's, think- That's that, the issue, they I don't know how. I don't think that anyone knows how. You can come here and learn how. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you came and said you wanted to learn how, there's lots of places that they'll teach you how to do it. And they, because I've done, very, very, very simple things before. And um, first of all, in the US, you're not gonna find people who will sit like this. No. no TV, no radio, no cell phone, no music. You know, they're just at home. It's a lot of times it's just silence. And they just sit and do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or in the markets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, well. I don't know of any place you could go in the US. But you can, lots of places here. If you wanted to learn the weaving, if you wanted to do beading, um, I know of a place at the lake where you can learn cooking. They'll teach you to, how to cook the local, mm -hmm. the local I want to do that, yeah. Um, Muchos de los, los precios de tus cosas. Por ejemplo, uh, estos. Este valen 40 que salen. Okay, so 40, that's 40 Q. Oh, and yeah. Remember, if you divide, roughly, if you divide that by seven, you come up with a pretty close equivalent for the U.S. So that's okay. about... Five and a half dollars. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let me let me buy something. Yeah. Let me buy something for that Mayan girl that 
I brought here. Okay. I mean, I'm sure she gets this. Right, right. But, but um, it still, it's the idea of you thought of her. And there's all kinds of necklaces. How much does it cost? 200. 200. 200 is 200. Yes. Okay. You take a tarjeta or? Yes, tarjeta or dollar. They'll do U.S. dollars. They'll do cards. Okay. Okay. Capsules if you don't have the cards. Okay. Oh wow. Yes, you can put on. Uh, cuánto cuesta? $2.50. $2.50. Sí, cualquier. Okay. $2.50. And uh, the difference between? Sí. Stone, different color. Same price. Oh, okay. Yes, it's okay. And this is for? It's real chain. Silver. Plata. Silver and jade. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Okay. Silver. And silver. Sí, puedes ver. Okay. Um, ¿Tú puedes poner? What do you think? Well, it's, you know, I mean, for me, jewelry is, is an individual taste. I mean, if you like it, you like it. Okay. You know, I mean, that's that's how I look at jewelry. Right, okay, I'll, I'll buy one at the end. When, okay. we, when we get done. Okay. I'll buy uh, one that's... Which one? What's the difference between the dark and the light? Just the color. That's it. Remember, jade comes in lots of different colors. And this one's a lighter, you know, the lighter green. This one's green. Um, and this one is a little bit more like the the lavender. Okay. No, this one's more of a brown. And I don't know if this is jade. SDS jade, come here. Haspe. 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 Okay, so this one's not jade. Yes, this is a SDS jade. Mm, sí, sí. negro. Jade negro. So sí. that's black jade. Okay. You know. It's 250. Okay.